What's up, party people in the place to be? Wolf Warner here again with the Wolf Warner Report. New comic book day. Wednesday, September 19th. I had a day off today. Yom Kippur. Shout out. Tama Hasidics in Brooklyn. You know how we do. Today is return of Wolverine Day. And it's like a big day. A big, big day. So big, they made 30,000 covers for it. I got about three of them. Two are on hold at Midtown. And I got one that I'm going to show you right now. So this is not one of the covers. This is just a promo poster. But first, let me give you my shout outs. Anyone Comics, Brooklyn, New York. Dimitri, what up? You came through for me today. I'll explain that later on when I hit the book that he made happen for me, y'all. All right, here we go. Let's get this out the way. Let's start it off with DC. Uh. Woo! That is Justice League number eight. Let me fix that there. Justice League number eight. Look at that cover. I think it's going to go down as a classic Joker cover. All right? Plus, I heard it's a new reveal, a new villain or something in it. So, you know, as I always say, I'm in. Keeping with the DC. Mm. Aquaman, 40. Joshua Middleton. Enough said. Mm. Francis Matina, Batman 55. Once again, two words. Enough said. Mm. Got so excited I hurt Captain America. My apologies. Keep it with DC. Slide over here, boy. You know that's Mr. Miracle, y'all. I went with that distorted kind of cover better than cover A. I don't know. It's all white, but still. Look at the shirt he's rocking. New God. Hot. Mm. I came with Teen Titans. I wanted the other cover, but... Mm. Sold out. I'm going to get it later on this week, but I went with this cover. I'm digging this one. It's the newest, Teen Titans, number 22. Holla. Keeping it with DC. That's from, uh, what's that, Batman Day on Saturday? I came with the Batman White Knight, the special edition. Shout out to Dimitri, anyone comics, for holding that for me, holding me down. He also held down a little bit of the, wow, what's this right here? Mm. That's Batman, Little Gotham, special edition. I believe it's drawn by or written by Dustin Nguyen from Descender fame, image. Hot. Let's go to some of our independents. I'm going to save that Marvel for last. I came with the Bengal cover for 7 to Eternity, number 11. By my man Rick Remenda and Jerome Pena. One of my favorites for a long time. Sticking with it. Fire cover. Another one of my favorites. Rick Remender again. Ben on Art. Death of Glory. Dope. People who know me know. Black Hammer. Age of Doom. Jeff Lemire. One of my favorite books regardless of publisher. Regardless. And this. Man, Dimitri, thank you very much for holding down Junior High Horrors for me, man. Honestly, man. Uh, I couldn't find it. It was sold out at Midtown. All three. So, thank you very much. The all-ages horror parody that Robert Kirkman may have called awesome. Junior High Horrors. Seems to be bugged out. I'm in. Hope you got yours. Aftershock. I came with patient conviction and revenge. Cast out of Vegas and into the savage wasteland. Now he's back for blood. A startling tale of the future by Patrick Kindlon, Marco Ferrari, Patrizia... Camino and Jim Campbell. I think I did a good job with those names there. Hope this comic does a good job when I read it. 
Keeping with the independence. Black badge. I love number one, Matt Kent, Tyler Jenkins, Hillary Jenkins, shaping up to be one of my favorite boom books. Let's see how it continues. Another one. Excuse me. I'm trying to keep it PG as possible, y'all. But this is a burnouts number one. Hopefully it's adults. There it is. Yes. Hopefully adults are watching. Burnouts number one by Culver, Giofu, and Dwanch. Issue number one from Image. I think it's something about you can only see ghosts if they're high. So definitely an adult book. As you know, I'm in. I'm staying with flavor, number five. Right there is the x Out comic code. So it's been a great book if you're a foodie into culinary arts and all of that by Joseph Keating. Color by Tamara, Bon Villain, Whoop, Jin Clark, and Ariana Maha with Ali Buzari, who gives the culinary notes at the end. I'm digging it. Might not be for everybody, but it's for me. I eat it up. Skyward, another one of my favorite image titles. We're up to number six already. Can't wait for this to hit the screen. If you're sleeping, wake up. Marvel time. That's the cover I came with, the Age of Apocalypse Wolverine, without no mask, nothing, looking real crazy. One hand. Um, I have two more Midtown. I came with the Scotty Young. Um, and I came with the old... The old costume variant. All right, picking those up later on this week. But this is what I came with from anyone comics. All right, hope it's dope. Sticking with Marvel. There's a Thor. Somebody's been making references about upside down penises and Batman damned with the penis and all. I, I don't know what's going on. It just looked like the hammer and a bird to me. But hey, people see different things. Jason Aaron. And Ward, number five, I'm in. Dope cover. Keeping with the old classic True Believers, Marvel Knights, The Punisher. First appearance of The Punisher. I got like six of them. They're $1. Why not? I'm going to stick with that. There it is again. True Believers, number one, The Punisher. First series. Grant, Zach, and Betty. Oh well. One dollar, my type of price. There we go. Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, number eight. Jason Aaron. I believe it's the first appearance of their new headquarters. Whatever. I like the read. West Coast of Can you stand up? West Coast Avengers was very entertaining, the first one. I was surprised, so I'm back for number two. Kelly Thompson writing it, killing it. Let's see if it's as good as the first one. Venom first host. Mark Costa, number four. I, if you're not with this, man, then you're not with nothing. Anything Venom. If you're not with this one, number six, Donnie Cates. If you slow, catch up, please, man. No mustard, man. Catch up. <laughs> that was stupid. All right, boom. Number three. Edge of Spider Geddon. What is this? Uncle Bendum? Venom Ben? Uncle Ben? New character. I had to get it. Not only one. That was the crane variant. I also got all white cover. Spider Ben and Petey. Stop it. I'm in. Jason Latour. Let's go. You waiting for it? There it is. Jerry Duggan, my man. Number one, Infinity Warps, Soldier Supreme. Steve Rogers merges with Stephen Strange. This is crazy. I hope it's dope. Keeping with the Venom. That cover is fly. The Amazing Spider-Man, I came with the annual number one. Gabrielle Del Otto, just for the cover, fire. 
Hope the read is nice too. Coming down to the end, it was a big haul this week. I'm sorry, y'all, for keeping 10 minutes of your time, but I got some dope books. Uh, Immortal Hulk, keeping with the Ross cover. Number six, Return of His Dad. And I hope it continues to be dope. So far, so good. And last but not least, I got to make some room here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. I had to make some room, man, because this book, I don't know what DC was doing right here. Let me turn this down. I hope it stands up. I came with Batman Damned, book one, all right? That is by Brian, I believe, Azzarello and Bermerjo on the art. There's supposed to be a whole bunch of penises up in here. I don't know, man. I, I'm really not a penis detective or a, a detective. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, DC Black Label... Going for the mature audiences, book one. I came with the Alex Ross cover, man. Woo! That haul was real. Wishing y'all the best. Hope y'all got some good books. Holler at me in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Wolf Warner. Deuces.